Hi guys, I just wanted to give a shout out for this adjustable e-bike charger. Um, this is for going to be for advanced users because you do have the possibility to uh, burn your house down if you set it up wrong. But you can set different battery chemistries over here. You can set different voltages here. You can set different charge currents here. So it's limited to 150 watts, 2.5 amps, up to 60 volts. So right now I'm charging my XP Lite. And yes, it did come with its own charger, this big brick here. But the point of this is that you can set it to, since you can set the voltage to something less than the max, you can charge it up to approximately 80% level. Uh, and then you can leave it charged and not worry about um, hurting the overall life of your battery. So I've got it on for a 48 volt battery. I've got it on the lithium high voltage setting. Um, and let's see what it's set at. So this toggles the output current on or off. Yeah, so that'll charge it up to 53 volts max instead of 53 or 58 or what it, whatever it would normally charge a 48 volt battery to. And then I've got it at the max current for that. And then you hit this and you see that comes on. This indicates your charge current. This is where the voltage is currently. So um, unlike the, the standard chargers that come with the e-bikes, this one is fan cooled. So it does make a little bit of noise. It's actually pretty quiet. Um, there's an intake and an exhaust vent that you'll have to keep clean. Um, and I guess one thing worth mentioning is that it doesn't have any safety certifications. So, um, you know, the first couple times you use it, maybe keep an eye on it for a while because it's not UL listed or, or even self, uh, they're not even self proclaiming certification. So that's worth looking at. But, uh, and then the other thing worth mentioning is that, let me turn this off. It, it only has one output plug and it's for that standard uh, barrel barrel connector. So if you have something fancy with multiple contacts, it's not gonna work. But this is a good way, you know, I have three bikes in my, three e-bikes in my fleet right now, and I, I wanna keep them, you know, pretty close to fully charged so that I can take the family out for an e-bike ride, but I don't want them to charge them 100% and then have them um, have a shorter lifespan. Uh, I've read that this can triple your battery life. The other way you can do it is you can just use your stock charger and then uh, get a mechanical timer to plug it into and then calculate about how long it's going to take to get it to 80%. There's a little bit of guesswork involved in that, but if you know your uh, math, you know, watt hours um, divided by amps of current, now, anyway, that's a little too much to get into right now. So, anyway, I just wanted to point this out. This is HGJI brand, and I got it on AliExpress. You can see the model number up here, HGJI 1608. I think it was about 25 bucks from China, and it took two or three weeks to come, but uh, really happy with it so far.